welcome back to my channel. Um, few announcements. It was my birthday yesterday. I'm 19 now. And that's the reason why I didn't upload. But there's another reason why I didn't upload. Because I had the option to upload last night. And right after this, I think y'all be able to tell. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. You are watching Shinobi L. Enjoy. Hey, I like the new intro. So what happened with that was I went to upload yesterday and I made the new intro earlier that day, but it got corrupted as I was making the video, like as I was like putting it all together. So I had to go out and remake the whole, like I just got, I was mad. So I just deleted everything. So I had to remake the, I'm remaking the video. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> so, <sighs> let's get right into, like, gonna start, okay? Okay. So, Naruto, like, at, like, he looks up at, um, he looks up and looks in Zabuza's direction. And Zabuza, he, like, when he comes out the, like, when he comes out the trees, He's like first like he's in his head like Taz I didn't think Tazano was gonna have a group of people. Well, somebody that would be willing to grab hold of the executioner's blade, someone as strong as him. And Naruto was like, see, I don't really care for you. But you just endangered some of my friends. And I don't like that. And Kakashi tells Naruto to set this round out. And Naruto looks at Kakashi and is like, what do you mean by that? And Kakashi and Katie kind of say the same thing. Like, you need to drop this weird ideology that you have, you know, because when your friends move on from you, you're going to be the only one stuck because you, you can't think for yourself or you can't do anything for yourself if all you're worried about is protecting your friends. And Aruto, like, uh, like if for, he was like, he was going to tell, he was going to say no. But then he was like, you know what? I don't even care. So he like he kind he doesn't walk away, but he kind of like drops the executioner's blade, and Zabuza jumps over. Like Zabuza walks over there and grabs it, and Katie asks Naruto, "Why did he do that?" And he looks at her and was like, "Well, he's gonna need all of his power to fight you both, right?" So, why not give it to him? And, like, he walks away, and Sasuke was like, what the fuck? Like, he, like, Sasuke knows that Naruto, he doesn't know a lot of shit about Naruto, but he knows that this isn't how, how no, like, this isn't normal Naruto. Like, this is something completely different. So, when they start fighting him, Naruto is just standing there, and he senses Haku, like, he sees Haku, like, sitting in a tree off into the distance, but he doesn't want to let Haku know that he's just got spotted, so, halfway through Zabuza, Katie, and, like, the rest of Team Seven's fight, Tazuna walks over there to Naruto, and Naruto looks at Tazuna, and he doesn't even bother to, like, um, Naruto doesn't even bother to look at him. So, like, Naruto is, like, he's paying attention to the fight, and half, like, and, like, when Zabuza activates his blood mist, like, 
everybody gets caught in it. And Naruto's like he's stand like he's just standing there. And he told he he finally like answers Tazuna. He tells Tazuna to get behind him. And like as Tazuna gets behind him, like a huge executioner's blade come flying at Naruto. And Naruto was like like he pulls out a kunai because he doesn't want to reveal like all of his strength in one go. So he pulls out a kunai and he block like he like he redirects the executioner's blade. So, Zabuza was like, wow, you're good. And, Zabuza, like, asks Naruto, like, why aren't they letting him fight? And Naruto tell like, Zabuza's using water clones to talk to Naruto. So, he, like, he asks he asks Naruto, why aren't they letting him fight? And Naruto was like, clearly it's because I don't, they don't need me to. Or like something like that, and that was a using like a very convincing water clone. Shows like he, one of his clones uses um, like uses a, a like a not a substitution jutsu. Like he copies the body of somebody else. I don't know what the fuck that's called. Transformation jutsu. There it is. I think I don't know. So, like. He uses that, and he's like, it looks like like the the body, the water clone is dragging, the dead body of Katie. Now, normal Naruto, like Naruto with his head screwed on straight, would have seen obviously that this is just a water clone. But Naruto is still mad. But the only thing that was going through his head was the last things I ever said to her. Were things that I shouldn't have said. And like halfway through their fight. They started. (laughs) They started to sense like some like Naruto's chakra. And. When the mist like Naruto himself cleared the mist by using like nothing but his like his um nothing but like a huge gust of wind and with a little help from the night house. so everybody looks over there they see a clone of um Katie like looking like she's dead and then she they see a clone of Zabuza and like, before they could even, um, say it, like, do anything, Naruto, like, he jumps away. But the way he jumps, it just looks like he disappears. So, like, when he jumps away, he's not going for Zabuza. He's going for Haku, because Naruto has had his eyes on Haku this entire time. So... When Naruto, like, gets to Haku, Haku, noted, like, realizes that Naruto's too fast, and, like, Naruto's too fast for her to try, for him to try to run away, but maybe he's not as strong, and as, and as he thinks about this, Naruto uses, um, like, some of his, like, he punches like the tree that she was that he was standing on shit and he was standing on and it damn there like it breaks like he puts a hole directly through the tree and Haku was like I can't like maybe if I do the ice prison jutsu so she's he starts doing that and Naruto like, just reminds him, like, that he's a different breed. So, when he gets him in the ice prison jutsu, and he starts, like, throwing the Simbot and everything, Naruto's just, like, he's not standing there. Like, he's waiting to see for an opening. And Naruto, like, sees Haku finna jump out one of the mirrors to try to stab Naruto in the neck with the kunai, or with the Simbot. So... 
the minute that Haku jumps out the um, portal, Naruto grabs Haku by the neck and pushes him into the floor. And when everybody else gets there, they see this. And Naruto, like, he looks back and he sees that Katie's okay. But Zabuza has already been taken care of, supposedly. So, Kakashi asks Naruto, what is he doing with this random shinobi? And Naruto was like, this is the shinobi that was working with Zabuza. And Kakashi was like, how do you know that? And Naruto was like, I sensed their like." I sent him like 15 or 20 minutes ago. And he was just watching you guys fight. Waiting for an opening for if Sab was a loss. And. Yeesh. So. After Naruto said this. Kakashi was like we could use him for information to, on Zabuza. And Naruto was like, no, you guys had your fight with Zabuza. This is mine. And Katie tells Naruto that he needs to cut it out because he's showing more than what he needs to. And Kakashi looks over at her and was like, what are you talking about? And Naruto, like, he starts laughing, like, out loud. And he, like, he sharpens his hand. And Sakura gets a flashback to when Naruto could have gotten, like, Naruto could have just ended her whole existence. So, like, she kind of, like, starts holding her stomach. And Sasuke, he chuckles a little bit off to himself, but then he, like, he realizes the severity of the situation. So he tells Naruto that he shouldn't do this because they can just get inf- a lot of information from him. And Naruto... Without even saying anything else, he takes his hand and he run it he runs it directly through the like the chest of Haku. And Katie, like, she didn't she doesn't know how to respond to that because Naruto's never killed someone in front of her. So she's seen other people kill, but she hasn't seen Naruto kill. And the way that Naruto just killed Haku was like completely bogus because Naruto didn't go quick he went really slow into his back so it was like from his back coming out his chest kind of like a chest bursting just a lot slower (laughs) so like Naruto puts him down like drops him and like like Kakashi was like Naruto what did you just do and Naruto Looks at him and was like, I disposed of a threat. Isn't that what anybody else would have done in that situation? And Kakashi was like, but you could have handled that better. There's no reason for you to kill someone for no reason. And Naruto was like, no, I killed him because you guys were fighting the other person and I wanted to fight him. There's no point in me fighting someone that you're going to fight if it was going to be a, a five on one. Besides, it's not my fault y'all two couldn't kill y'all. Uh, four couldn't kill Zabuza. And they turn around and Zabuza's body is gone. And Katie was like, "So you seen him get up and leave?" And Naruto was like, "Yeah, but that's not my fight." My bad if I hear planes going over my house. I kind of live like next to an airport. So, yeah. So, Naruto basically like he, um, he gets up and he tells, like, cause he was on his knees cause Haku was laying face first into the dirt. So, yeah, when Haku died, he, yeah. So, Naruto gets up and he like, he dusts himself off. And he looks at Katie, and Katie tells Naruto that they have to talk when they get back to the Leaf Village. And Naruto was like, no, we're going to do like we, what we do all the time. 
you're going to tell me something that I can't do. I'm going to agree. Then you're going to get mad because you don't think I'm listening. Then we're going to have this huge argument for no reason. And Sasuke, well, Sakura, like, she thinks about it. And she's, like, in her mind, she's thinking, I thought Naruto and Katie's, like, relationship was perfectly fine. I didn't think nothing bad was happening. And, for the most part, it wasn't. It's just, like, things that Naruto give her, she gives away. This isn't the first time she's did it. She's did it a couple of other times. Like, Naruto gave her one of her ja- one of his jackets, and she gave it away to somebody, to some random kid in the village when she first got into there. But... Once the parents' kid found out whose jacket it was, they um waited till Naruto was alone, and they beat him up for it, which is why Naruto always stayed in the house after that point. So Naruto, after um like saying this, like he looks at Kakashi and was like, "You know what, Kakashi? Maybe you're right." Maybe I should change my ideology. Maybe instead of protecting my friends, why don't I just protect everyone? Because it seems like no one else in this world is strong enough to defend themselves from anyone. Or you're just too incompetent to finish your own fight. Because you want to give someone because you want to give someone a second chance. And Naruto, like, he starts to walk away. Well, he start, he tells Tazuna to start walking because they need to get him to where he needs to be. And in the distance, Zabaza is um being carried off by an Anbu member from the Leaf Village. And the Anbu member, like, tells, like, whispers to him, like, tells the squad to make sure that Naruto gets, like, gets back to the village. And when he does, make sure he comes sees Haruzen. And when they say that the, like, the Yambu member squad breaks off and, like, two other people stay with Zabuza and the other guy. So when they get back to the Leaf Village, Zabuza gets put in prison gets put in prison and when he like when Zabuza tells third Hokage that he won't tell he won't like snitch on anybody or you know start spilling their beans Naruto not Naruto Haruzen was like oh no that's not going to be necessary we have a um a special punishment for you and Zabuza like was like, well, you know, do your worst. And Haruzen turns around and was like, oh, we intend to. And he walks away. And this is where I'm going to end this part off. If y'all like, if y'all enjoy my content, please subscribe. You know, if y'all like the video, like the video. Uh, I just fucked that all the way up. Anyway, peace out, y'all.